Good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing or La Likon, the founder of MyGetTech. Today we will consider the problem as displayed on the screen. Okay, line AE is 195 mm. This is a geometrical question. Okay, so I'm going to pick my T square and produce first of all a thin horizontal line across my drawing sheet. Okay, so after doing that, I'm going to pick my ruler right here. Just pick a spot here. And name it mark what mark A. So line A E is what 195. I'm going to measure mark of 195 mm. So which is this, and that's my mark what mark B. Sorry, mark A E. This is my mark what E. This is my mark E. A E is what is 195 mm. So it says divide line A E into four segments A B C D E. And to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the principle of division of line technique. So if you don't know that, I'm going to attach a link to the description of this video to check how to divide a line into equal parts. How to divide a line into equal parts. So I'm going to divide this particular line now into five. So from here, I project this. Yeah, at any convenient, just draw this line at any convenient distance right there. Then I'm going to actually okay i'm going to do this offline so just follow the link under the description below to check how to divide a line into equal parts thank you but for so this, are... for this particular drawing we will be dividing line ae into four equal parts ae into four equal parts so follow the description under the link below to learn how to divide a line into a number of parts so we will be dividing our ae in this video into what into four equal parts i'm going to do that offline now Okay, AE has been divided into four equal parts. This is my mark B, this mark C, this mark D, and that's what that is. E. So into four equal segments. Okay, after doing that, it says construct line A complement E complements parallel to AE at mark 60 mm above. At mark 60 mm above. So how do I do that? I'm going to pick my compass. All right, picking my compass and my ruler. I'm going to measure mark of 60 millimeters, which is this. Okay, with mark 60 mm, I stand at mark A. I produce an arc faintly at the top right here. With the same 60 mm, I stand at mark E. All right, I produce another arc faintly at the top at what mark 60 mm. Then I'm going to what pick my T square, align it right here at the top here, and what I'm going to draw this line faintly at the top like that so this line you are seeing at the top here is parallel to what a e at the mark of what 60 mm distance so this is my a complement and what a complement line right there as displayed on the screen so above it it now says construct angle 135 degree at point b to cut e construct angle 135 degree at point b to cut a e I'm going with a five degree at point B to cut what A E at point F. All right, so to do I'm going with a five at mark B. I'm going to pick my compass standing right here at mark B. Okay, I produce I'm going 180 degree first faintly. Then from that I'm going 180 degrees. I produce I'm going 90. Okay, this I'm going 90 degrees. So I'm going to draw my I'm going 90 degree, but it's going to work faintly. It has my angle 90 degree. Then I'm going to what? Angle 35 degrees is what? 90 plus 35 gives what? Sorry, 90 plus 45 gives what? Gives 135. So I'm going to bisect this angle 90 degree now to construct angle 45 right here. Here and what? And here. Picking any radius on my compass. Okay. Then what? This is my what? Angle 135. So the total distance of my angle from this area right here. To this area right here is what is one thirty-five degree. So I'm producing angle one thirty-five degree to cut line A complement A complement. This line A complement A complement at point what point F. So this point is point what point F at the top right there. So construct angle three hundred and thirty-seven and a half degree at F. Angle three hundred and thirty-seven and a half degree at F. Okay. Uh, at F to cut line A E at G to cut line A E at G angle three hundred and thirty five. 
sorry, angle 337 and a half degrees. Angle 337 and a half degrees. So to do my angle 337 and a half degrees, that is going to be a 360 degree minus 337 and a half. That is angle 22.5 degrees. Okay. So from here, I'm going to produce from mark F at any convenient radius. I draw this. All right. I draw this. So I'm going to produce angle 90 degree at this bottom here like this. One and two all right i'm going to draw this faintly like this i'm drawing this faintly like this then i'm bisecting angle for five degrees right here from this 90 here. one and two like that so i'm drawing this also faintly like this okay so from this area mark zero down here is what's 30 uh this is 300 degree like this okay uh 270 plus okay from mark zero here to this area is what is 270 270 plus 45 is what this is 315 so i need 22.5 degrees right here so i'm going to bisect the, the angle from here to here so with my compass right here at any convenient radius i what i draw one then right here see that i what i draw two so and this is what this is the angle 300 and so from this area like this all the way back here okay the other angle from here all the way is what is 337 and a half degrees so which means the angle here is what 22 and a half degrees right here okay so at f to cut line a e at 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 g so this point is point what now point g that's my point g that's my point g okay bisect f b g bisect f b g bisect f angle f b g so i'm bisecting this angle right here so coming right here i bisect this so placing my compass i bisect one and two so then i what i draw my bisector from this area okay i draw my bisector from this area like this so that is my bisector from that area this is my bisector this line here is my bisector okay the bisector cuts AE at H, so it cuts AE at this point, which is what H does mark H right there. Does mark H right here. Construct a perpendicular from H to line AE. A perpendicular from H to line AE. So standing right here, I produce 90 degree. Then I what? Oh, sorry, I produce 180 degree. Then I what? Then I produce 90 degree from that 180. So and this is the perpendicular i constructed from h to touch line ae this is the perpendicular all right so the perpendicular meets ae at i so this junction is mark what mark i that's mark i all right so and triangle fbg is an office angle triangle fbg so i'm going to take in fbg because it is what it is a triangle so i'm going to take in fbg fbg because FBG is what is a triangle. So I'm going to join FBG all together now. Because that is what an obtuse angle triangle, which is what you are seeing on the screen right there. Okay. FBG is an obtuse angle triangle. Why triangle BHI is a right angle triangle. So BHI. So B to H, which is this, is a what is a right angled triangle and that is the case right here that is the case right here so bgh is a what a right angle triangle because right here i'm having a what a right angle here which is what 90 degree this is 90 degree right here okay that is 90 degree right there okay so transfer 
angle f b g to point d angle f b g to point d so which means i am producing a parallel line f b g f b g so this line here a transfer angle f b g angle at b angle at b i'm transferring it towards to mark what to mark d to mark d to cut a e at g so i am doing a parallelism principle of parallelism right there so i'm going to pick this yeah i'm going to align my ruler from f to b okay from f to b aligning mark f to b like that so placing my ruler at the bottom right here like this yeah my ruler flushing and i'm going to slide my set square to mark d all the way to mark d like that all the way to mark d take note i pick f and b i pick f and b which is this slide my ruler at the bottom which is this now what i slide that distance to what to mark d right here to mark d right here then i what then i draw i draw touching line a e at mark what at mark g this is mark g now this is mark g so b d j f is in parallelogram b d j okay d to j also right here b d j f is a parallelogram b d j f is what is a parallelogram b d j f is a parallelogram so and that brings us to the end of the video so we got uh b f b g f b g is an obtuse angle triangle all right while uh b h i b h i is a right angle triangle and b g j f b sorry b d j f is a parallelogram is a parallelogram so that brings us to the end of uh the problem as displayed on the screen so my name remains oluwa to be blessing Olalekon. kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it thank you